Hello friends, today we'll study about microorganisms. Hey buddy, can you point at a living organism apart from you and me? Do you know there are very small organisms around you which are so tiny that it is not possible to see them with your naked eye? These are known as microorganisms. In other words, it's the smallest and simplest form of living being, which can be visible only with a microscope. Wow, interesting! Microbes or microorganisms come in many different shapes, varieties, and sizes. They make up the largest number of living organisms on the whole planet. There are trillions of trillions of trillions of microbes all around the Earth, maybe more. Scientists classify them in five types. They are bacteria, viruses, fungi, algae, and protozoa. Let's learn about them one by one. Bacteria. They can be rod-shaped, spherical, or spiral-shaped. Some bacteria can be useful. For example, Streptomyces is used in making antibiotics. But some nasty kinds, like Staphylococcus, can give you a bad tummy ache or a sore throat. Viruses. They're parasites and can only survive inside the cells of other living organisms. They can cause infectious diseases like chickenpox or measles. Fungi. It can be of various sizes ranging from a single cell, like yeast that is used to make bread rise, or other fungi, such as toadstools or molds. Algae. They make much of Earth's oxygen which humans and other animals need to breathe. They are most common in water bodies, but some of them live in soil or on leaves, stones, and woods. Algae blooms can block light to organisms lower in the water bodies or even harm fish gills. We use algae for medicine, food, and sometimes to combat climate change. Protozoa. They hasten the decomposition of the remains of dead animals and plants. Mmm, but protozoa like cryptosporidiosis that spread through unclean water or food usually affect the digestive system. Most of the microbes are single-celled. They're called unicellular organisms. Example, prokaryotes, most protists, and some fungi. Some microorganisms are multicellular. For example, the protist kingdom. Cell clusters. Some species stick together to form groups or clusters of cells that are quite distinctive. For example, bacilli and cocci. Here's a diagram of a unicellular microorganism. Paramecium. Parts are gullet, macronucleus, micronucleus, contractile vacuole, cilia, pellicle, food vacuole, anal pore, and contractile vacuole. Now, you know a lot about microorganism. Please drop a like, leave a comment, share the videos, and don't forget to subscribe. Our app, Learning Junction, is available on Play Store. Bye-bye!